This is Phosphogypsum, or PG, a byproduct of making phosphate fertilizer from phosphate rock. For years, it's been put to use where possible, with Japan leading the way in the 1970s by reusing all of its PG for cement. But in the 1990s, concerns about safety and limited understanding of its potential meant it was often underutilized and considered waste. With new research and robust safeguards, phosphogypsum is now being recognized as a valuable resource. As a result, many countries are exploring ways to use it responsibly. For example, governments in Brazil, China, Indonesia, India and Belgium are driving the shift by recognizing the potential of phosphogypsum as a secondary raw material. Take Brazil for example, they are reusing all of it for crops and cement. This shift could make a big difference to our industries, communities and the planet. Here's how they do it. In road construction, phosphogypsum can be mixed with other materials to create a stable, durable base. PG can replace traditional resources like sand and gravel by up to 65%. And it's not just effective, it's resilient, making it great for roads in all kinds of climates. Of course, projects like these go through strict testing to make sure they are safe and meet environmental standards. Phosphogypsum is also used in building materials like plaster, helping to save energy during production. It can be mixed into cement to make it stronger as well. Farmers use phosphogypsum to improve soil quality because PG contains key nutrients such as calcium and sulfur which help plants to grow. In areas where the soil has too much salt, the calcium in phosphogypsum helps remove it, creating better growing conditions and in turn higher harvests. That's a big deal in areas with tough growing conditions like Brazil's Cerrado region, one of the world's most important agricultural areas. Phosphogypsum is helping farmers here keep their land fertile and productive year after year. As well as being used for farming and construction, phosphogypsum is proving to be a valuable and versatile material in other industries. For example, China has started to use phosphogypsum to make biodegradable packaging. In Germany, Scientists are studying its tiny traces of radium salts for potential use in innovative cancer treatments. Phosphogypsum is also being studied for its role in restoring and supporting degraded ecosystems. Research shows that when mixed into certain soils, it helps create the right conditions for young trees to grow strong and healthy, allowing forests to flourish. Regenerated forests have the potential to capture large amounts of carbon dioxide every year, making them a great step towards managing resources more sustainably. Right now, researchers are making sure this is done safely and in line with environmental standards. This is what a circular economy looks like, taking something that was considered as waste and turning it into a valuable resource. So, the next time you see farmland, a road, or a building under construction, think about phosphogypsum. What was once a forgotten byproduct is now part of a smarter, more sustainable future.